Hello and welcome to my nightmare playthrough of Ultimate Doom. This is episode 3, Inferno. Alright, episode 3, Inferno. Let's go. You might notice something straight off the bat if you watch the other videos. But I decided my main keyboard is a bit... It's a bit too much. So I'm using a different keyboard now. This, one, this keyboard does feel awful, but... It's going to be better for the video, hopefully. Uh, post your thoughts about it in the comments. So this level is quite straightforward. It just... Well, it is quite straightforward considering it's a very linear level. I suppose it's just about running past those Cacodemons. And then you've pretty much beaten the level. Um, pinkies in Doom 1 are such a hassle, honestly, because... In Doom 2, they're quite—they're usually a pushover because you have the super shotgun. But over in Doom, you usually have to take them out with just the single barrel shotgun. It, it sucks for that. They've got so much health. It takes two to three shots. Two if you're lucky. That's it. So um, let's exit. So yeah, that's the first level. Pretty easy. Not much to say. Let's move on. Alright, first things first, we want to grab some Mega Armor. And then we want to get an upgrade for our, for our pistol. Alright, let's grab the plasma gun. Alright, let them do their thing. As you can see, oh, you can see an arrow pointing towards this, which is why it's a secret. So, um, let's use this plasma gun. For the chain gun, that's what we're gonna go for. All right, there's a secret. So we've got two secrets so far. There's only one left, and it's gonna be uh, through here. Excellent. All right, probably best to switch weapons. Not much ammo left. But there is a supercharge up soon. Just gotta take out this Cacodemon. Now we get some more ammo. Wait. Wait, where is it? Is it not here? Did I did I mess up? I think I messed up. We don't need to go through this area. But hopefully we can grab some health. Nah, let's just go straight for it. But there is a supercharge here, I know there is. But uh, thankfully we picked up some plasma. So we should we should get killed really. Alright. Anything in here? Supercharge. That's all secrets. So we did make a bit of a detour. A really silly one. But um, it's gonna be time to exit soon. Alright. So we need the blue key. Switch to the chain gun. We don't even have that much ammo. Well, good luck. Blue key. You just go around the corner. Alright. Could be so many lost holes right behind us. Alright, and that was a very, very sloppy level 2. Extremely sloppy. But that's what I get for not practicing, <laughs> just from going off memory. Okay, that's that was harder than it was supposed to be, but it was quite fun. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Oh, some trivia: that level is shaped like a hand. You probably noticed it when I looked at the map. Okay, now it's time to move on. First things first, let's try to not get eaten. Well, there's nothing, not much we can do other than pray. But now we're gonna try to try to grab uh, a chain gun here. And now that we're armed, we can make a lot of progress. Also, we're going to go for this secret now, might as well. We got the bullets. And we're just going to go for this secret as well. Rocket launcher. Quite good. Alright, let's move on. Oh, I think I should grab some bullets. It's just right here. That'd be helpful. So I'm going to be using the chain gun quite a lot. Right. 
Now grab the shotgun. And we're gonna grab some mega armor. And a blue key. There's a blue key. And let's grab the mega armor. Hopefully we don't get blocked. And now it's time. After we grab the After we grab the invincibility, we're gonna get the BFG. And then we've pretty much beaten the level. There's the supercharge. So 200, 200, proper stacks, and got the BFG. So um, let's make a move on. There's only two secrets left. And they're right here. Here's one secret, and here's the other secret, and we've beaten the level. Wasn't that fun. So this level is really, really easy other than that one pinky at the start. He's a bit of a hassle and he has to behave himself or else you just have to restart. Um, another thing I haven't brought up yet, if you're going to start playing Nightmare, start on Episode 3. It's pretty easy. It's easier than Doom 2, it's easier than Episode 1, definitely, and it's easier than Episode 2. So just letting you know if you want to try Nightmare. Anyway, time to move on. All right, so it's another level that starts off with a pinky and now we're going to take out as many of these as possible with just the fist. Right, that ought to do it. Hopefully no pinkies will spawn behind us. We'll just take a few of them out. We can't be here all day. That should do it. And let's rush out. All right. Fire rocket here and hopefully we can get through. Let's make a run for it. Every second with this invulnerability counts. Every single second. So we're gonna make a run for it as soon as this raises. everything and uh, we can get the BFG soon oh yeah let's go everything in this room and now we can um, grab some more ammo more cells and um, let's take care of all these hacking because they're very dangerous that ought to do it and um, take care of this Baron. So grab his supercharge that he's defending. And how did he not die? I guess I'll never know. Anyway, all I need to do is get to the blue door. Alright. Let's go. should do and guess what we have here another invul another invulnerability we got this key and I can grab this key and um, make my way to the exit another secret in here and that's all secret so let's just get to the exit now Straight for the exit. No mucking about. And that's it. So, yeah, that is quite a hard level. Um, it's not hard when you're going for just beating the level, but if you're going for 100% secrets, then yeah, it's quite hard. Especially those pinkies in the berserk section, and then trying to get through the section with the kakadu and all the crushing sections with the invulnerability. 
and then also trying to keep you in vulnerability for long enough so you can get the BFG. It's quite tough, but as soon as you get get the BFG and get out of that area, uh, as soon as you pick up the second invulnerability, you have beaten the level. Oh, it's tough. Anyway, on to the next. All right, so first things first. Let's go through this secret. And there's nothing in it other than a light amplifier, but it's useless. So we're not going to pick it up. We're just going to activate the secret. So here's another secret that opens up. And um, we're going to go through this teleporter here. And we're going to go back on ourselves to, go, uh, to get a plasma gun. There we go. Yeah, I will. Oh, I need to press the switch to open both of them. All right, let's get out of here. Now another thing should open up. There we go. And um, let's go through this teleporter again. <laughs> That's a lot of thank yous. Okay, we're doing quite good. We're gonna go for the secret somewhere. There it is. And um, get the yellow key. No, not yet. Uh, where would it be? Oh yeah. Let's go through here. Open this up. So that's another secret. So we have to get the yellow key. Where would it be? Okay. If we go back on ourselves. No, that's the wrong door. Oh, sorry. Let's just fight. But yeah, this is this is it. Okay, we're doing good. This is a long, complicated level. It's really easy to get lost. Okay, so I can move on. The floor hurts us, but it's a nice radiation suit here. And I can pick up this and grab the other key. But there's going to be so many things fighting us. Uh, we're just going to try to get them to move away. Just camp here. Skillful dodging. <laughs> We can move on. Wow, that pinky does not need to be there. Alright, so let's get health back up and we can grab a supercharge right here. And let's grab an invulnerability and get on with this level. We have to activate all these secrets as well. Possibly forget to do that. Anyway. Teleporter? Nope, wrong one. This this teleporter. And just hold down the power button and we should be able to win. Let's press all the switches. Kill everything. If they don't respawn, so might as well. Did I even activate it? No, okay. Oh, we don't need the chain gun. It doesn't count as a secret. Anyway, that's it. That's all secrets. So let's just go straight to the exit. And we're done with this long, drawn-out, complicated level with too many secrets and too many paths. So... It's not too difficult at all, really. It's just complicated and it's a lot to memorise and very easy to get lost. But the enemies you fight aren't too bad and you do get a plasma gun with loads of cells, so... Firepower and enemies, not so much a hassle, but the level design, you, ju you just have to memorize it. After that, it's not so bad. So, let's move on to the next level. Alright, first things first. Uh, this is a nice short level, but we need to get armed first. And they're all just laid out in front of us. Beautiful. Uh, next up, we have to go through this building. Uh, let's take care of them so we don't get shot in our behind. And I have to kill some spectres. That should be all of them. Anyway, I can grab a plasma gun and we're mostly done with the level already. Uh, we just have to go through this section. 
and try not to get hit a bunch because there's so much hit scan. Anyway, let's go. No secret here. I'm going to try and grab the chainsaw. Excellent. All right. This is it. Let's grab the invulnerability, which I've left right here. And we've pretty much beaten the level. I've only got one thing left to do. And that is to do a rocket jump right here. Right up here. And that's it. It's all secret. So it's a very short level. Quite easy. And there's not really much to say. So on to the secret level. Yep. Look familiar? Yeah, this is clearly a, a level that is based off uh, the first level of episode 3. So we're going to try to get past the Cacodemons. Right. Uh, we can get through. Continuing on, continue on as normal. Uh, this level only has one secret, and that one secret is the exact same secret as in as the first level. So even though this level, if you're going to go for it like a UV max, then you've got to do quite a lot in this level because there's quite quite a few enemies. But if you're going just for secrets, then it's, it's really easy. So here's that's the secret, and here's the exit where well, the exit would be if this was the first level. And we're just gonna make our way across. Ignore this Cyberdoom, he is completely harmless. And we're gonna use this invulnerability uh, to get through. And also, wouldn't mind having a plasma gun. Right, and through here is the red key, which we need to beat the level. Alright, let's go. And we're done already. This level doesn't really throw much at, throw much at you if you're only going for all secrets. So, dead easy level, not much to say, let's move on. So first things first, take care of these shotgunners. Now try to avoid these pinkies. Okay. Let's make a move on. So now I can grab this blue key. Let's try to get out of here. Anyway, let's wake all these up. And try our best to get out. Okay, we made it. Yeah, it's kind of luck based. Sometimes they like to trap you. Alright, now I have to fight this Cacodemon. And, um, deal with this shotgunner. And now we've got a BFG. It's pretty good. And we're going to kill this Cacodemon because he's. Never mind, he's not in our way. Okay, that's good. Where are you at? There you are. Anyway, let's grab the red key. Let's try to get through and beat the rest of the level. Okay, I'm gonna press this switch and this switch while trying not to get trapped. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Make a move on. So with our red key, um, we want to go here. That's the yellow key, and also we've got this plasma gun. We're going to kill these lost souls so they don't bother us for later. All right, next up, um, may as well grab some ammo. Try not to get hit or else it'll be a waste. Alright, probably best to use the BFG. And actually there's so much room here, I can get fast. 
We use a BFG shot anyway. Um, they're all out of the way, so let's grab a backpack. Some ammo. And um, let's go back here so we can grab this radiation suit. Um, next up, I'm trying to remember. I think I need to go through this, this bit now. Yep. And uh, let's just SR50. And that's the bridge. Risen to the exit. So let's make our way towards um, this final area. For good luck. <laughs> that's it. That's this level. So this level is quite long and quite complicated. And those pinkies really mess you up. But if you get lucky with the pinkies, then it's fine. You just... That's it. That's what it is. It's just luck based. Just making sure that the pinkies don't trap you. But if you get lucky, you, you just have a good run. So, on to the last level. Time to squash a big spider. She's a bit of a joke. Considering all I gotta do is just um, get behind her and start firing and I've won. There we go. Get behind her. And this Baron should help us as well. And we've won. This is our entire strategy for defeating the final boss of episode 3. The Spider Mastermind. Fleet not a joke. That's it. There's also no secrets in that level. So. Episode 3 is definitely the easiest of every episode. Some levels are quite hard though, but most of them are quite easy. Um, if you're going to start practicing on Nightmare, just like play it casually, I'd recommend you start with episode 3 and not bother with 100% secrets. Go for a single segment run uh, and try it with no saves. Uh, I think that would be a good challenge. And then um, once you get comfortable with doing that, maybe try... Episode 2 with saves or Doom 2. I think Doom 2 is a lot easier because you've got actually good weapons and a super shotgun most times. And um, Doom 2, uh, Doom 1 is all about having loads and loads of pinkies in really tight areas and having just a shotgun to fight them off. Which is really difficult. So yeah. There's only um, one episode left. And that's uh, episode 4. Thy Flesh Consumed, which is definitely the hardest episode. When I say definitely, I mean episode 1 was pr pretty pretty hard, so let's see if it actually manages to top that. And that head right there is poor, poor Daisy. Very unfortunate. Doom guy's um, pet bunny. But we get revenge, I think. Okay, that's that concludes episode 3. Thanks for watching.